the unemployment rate in New Zealand is still down at 3.4%. Uh, we had 0.8% growth in job numbers in the March quarter. And this is even with the business sector being exceedingly pessimistic and saying, oh, we're looking to lay off staff. This tightness of the labour market is something very different this time around. Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to another uh, weekly video, bit of a look at what's happening in the housing market uh, out there. Now, we've got another interest rate review from the Reserve Bank coming up uh, any day there on uh, May 24. Uh, they'll get their chance to react to whatever the Finance Minister has in the budget and whatever the various inflationary signals um, have been over this uh, period of time since the last review about a month ago. Chances are fairly strong they'll increase the interest rate again by a quarter of a percent, and if that happens, I think we can reasonably anticipate floating mortgage rates go up by the same amount. One year fixed mortgage rates, maybe, not really convinced of that. I personally wouldn't expect to see any further increases in the two, three, four, um, five year fixed mortgage rates are out there. The interest rates are fairly near their peak, but I don't think any of us can be optimistic that the rates are going to be uh, falling away at any great pace over the next one or maybe um, even two years. Now, obviously, this is going to be a uh, I guess a trying situation for the great number of people who have bought themselves houses over 2021, 20, 22, uh, got themselves into some good short term interest rates. But of course, now they're rolling off on average about three and a half percent towards the likes of 6.5 percent or maybe even uh, uh, slightly higher than that. Now, I guess the key point to note here is that we have seen periods like this before in New Zealand in 1987 when we got the mortgage rates going 21, um, 22 percent. And of course, also in uh, 2007, 2008, they got to almost uh, 11% for the floating, the short-term interest rates there. So we have had these periods of pain before. And what we've seen in these previous occasions, of course, has been a lot of mortgagee sales out there. I don't think that's likely to be the case uh, this time around. And here lies maybe one of the answers for people, unfortunately, um, in this position of having the interest rate rise uh, about 3%. And this is with regard to the very tight labour market. The unemployment rate in New Zealand is still down at 3.4%. Uh, we had 0.8% growth in job numbers in the March quarter. And this is even with the business sector being exceedingly pessimistic and saying, oh, we're looking to lay off staff. This tightness of the labour market is something very different this time around. And so what this means is that you should not be afraid of going to the boss there and uh, asking for a raise, asking for some extra money. And you should also not be afraid of doing the thing which tends to deliver the best remuneration increase in New Zealand, which is actually leaving your current employer and going somewhere else. It's not an easy thing to do, but then if that's what it's going to take in order to keep your house, I'd suggest that that is a move um, you contemplate making. Also, with the tight labour market, uh, part-time work maybe is going to be available at the weekends. The hospitality sector is still very short um, of staff. Maybe some extra hours where you work uh, as well. There's also still a bit of a shortage of rental accommodation around the country, so maybe have a look at taking in a border. Lots of foreign students coming back into the country, so maybe there's going to be some opportunity there signing up to one of the schemes where the uh, universities, etc., um, are looking for accommodation. Uh, that also could be uh, relatively useful. Obviously cutting expenses where possible and everybody's got their own favourite thing that they drag out in these sort of uh, uh, tough times there. Maybe the only one I'd point out would be in our bones we all want to go overseas as soon as possible because it was denied to us for two, two and a half uh, or so years. Maybe in the interest of making your life easier in the next uh, wee while, while interest rates are high, uh, uh, do not give in to that strong uh, desire to go overseas and uh, instead just focus on the mortgage repayments going forward. Overseas is still going to be there in one or two years uh, time and hopefully by then the airfares will actually be cheaper um, as well and they'll have sorted out and got enough baggage handlers and airport security personnel also. Just want to briefly finish by noting that my most recent uh, mortgage advisors uh, survey uh, is showing that the first home buyers are still in the market. Some investors are maybe not so much starting to return but 
there seem to be fewer uh, walking away from the market. And those measures, along with a number of others, such as uh, seasonally adjusted sales for real estate agents improving 11% in April, and prices you know, looking like essentially they are bottoming out. So I think we're sort of in roughly the bottom of the uh, house price cycle at the moment. It'll vary from region to region, but I think we're in that territory. But for goodness sakes, do not try and get anyone to give you any certainty about what house prices will now do over the next couple of years. I could easily make a boom case in terms of record net migration numbers into New Zealand. They're going through the roof. But then we're probably not looking at interest rates falling very strongly, you know. So there's sort of offsets there. So uh, please don't ask me for that particular uh, uh, forecast. No one has a good record on the house price predictions over the past few years. All the best.